Okay, so I'm Grasswalker. Hello and welcome to The Pathless. This is a super cute, super awesome game, and I'm excited to see what it's about. Apparently, a dark curse shrouds the world. Legend says the curse spreads from ancient isle on the edge of the world, where the realm of man and the realm of spirits intersect. Good to know. Many have gone to the isle to stop the curse, but none have returned. The darkness grows stronger. The last hunter makes the journey, that's us, to reclaim the light that has been stolen from the world. Here we go. Beautiful liquids. Beautiful boat. I love games that have a particular aesthetic art style. They're not trying to just do realistic. They're like, alright, we'll be realistic in this way, or we'll be um, cartoony in that way. And it makes your game age really well. Like games like The Wind Waker that look like they're made out of Play-Doh look good now, whereas games like Two Worlds 1 and 2 that tried to be hyper-realistic in just a general way with no aesthetic or style, they didn't age well at all. Alright, there's a lot of verticality we're looking at here. Do we just get control? Looks like we do. Alright, there's my camera. Beautiful. So we have the ability to run, jump. Wow, that is a high jump right there. Whatever planet we're on, hip! <laughs> Whatever planet we're on has really, really bad gravity. Do we have anything else? Alright, that's a, a little bit poor gamesmanship because they didn't tell me what button is jump. I, I appreciate it didn't hold my hand, but um. Maybe other people might need that. What are you? Shoot, hold and release RT. Cool. Super cool. Dash, hold to use meter. Oh, look at us go. Nice. Zoom. Does our meter recharge over time or does it only come back having shot things? Oh, what is that? That does not look like it belongs here. Oh, okay, it's like an animal. Like a big phoenix type creature. Oh. Oh, baby boy, we'll try and help. Gave us one phoenix heart soul thing, I think. Oh, baby boy. Okay, so we use the red things to refill. We're gonna head through the gates first, that's all we're gonna do. Okay. I would not be touching that. That seems horrifying. Okay, so it gives us like spirit vision and we can see through wall portals. Cool. Toggle secrets and distant landmarks. Wow. Neat. Stuff to shoot, sign me up. It's a lot of stuff to shoot. That was kind of in the floor. Is that meant to be there? <laughs> That's our max range then, from here to there. So that's filled us up. Okay, now I'm getting a bit more of a groove to this. You can use these to dash then. I 
see you now. I see you, and I begin to understand, and I begin to do some parkour. B. The battle between Eagle Mother and God Slayer was the worst thing my eyes have witnessed. If she's fallen, the worst has happened. Now we will stand against the God Slayer. Yet to have any dialogue, which is an awesome choice. I find that really interesting. I have a lot of respect for any form of media um, that doesn't rely on dialogue, doesn't need it, doesn't have it. I have a feeling that we can, like, parkour down that kind of thing. Cool. Oh. Oh, missed that one. So now where am I going? I'm just following this path. Oh, the speed jump. Beautiful. Oh, I don't have... I lack the required eagle soul. Is this an eagle soul, though, for me? What about this? Ah, contentment. I came as a pilgrim to seek guidance from the tall ones, but found all the answers I needed on this little isle. A path is only as good so long as you walk it, and now I'm content to sit. Okay. Can I not? Okay, there is a thing to take it. That gives us a little eagle thing, and then we can just put that in that thing right there. Stick this in here, and then the world is a better place. This is nice. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's pretty. It sounds good. It's interesting in the sense that it's not relying on any form of dialogue, and I'm not sure what this story is. Like, I'm putting bits and pieces together, but I'm not actually sure what I'm doing here. Just rushing through the woods, feeling cool. I'm supposed to have an idea of that, but you know what? I'm okay with this. Oh, missed. <laughs> Do we come back to you? You feeling a little bit better now? Or do we have to... Okay, we can't climb up you. You are presenting a barrier to us. So there must be... We do have Y to detect landmarks. Okay, so there's something up there. No, that's something we cleared. And we cleared another one. Alright boys, we're back. back where we started. It's definitely going to have cleared these two. But what else? Cleared these two little towers. Feel like we were making good progress. 
And then where am I gonna go next? I think... I feel like that should be... Oh, fuck that. Okay, we can't parkour a bit. Just have to do the slow hops. <laughs> Alright, we cleared this tower. And then what? What do you want from me now? Let's the sit and be content. There's something here. Three somethings. Okay, we found a secret. Cool. We discovered a secret. Ah, oh, I see a red tower on the coastline. So I was most of the way towards where we were meant to go, and then I just got baited to go back to familiar ground. No, we are literally all the way back here. Alright, this is new at least. <laughs> there we go, we got there in the end. This game definitely does not hold anybody's hand. Just constantly shooting that is not achieving anything. So it's protected by something. Let's have a look what the hint says. The God Slave is no longer man. <laughs> okay, that's... Oh, a button. Glorious. Okay, we can hit things without line of sight of them. That's good to know. Alright, we got the next one. Stick that in there. Beautiful. Feels like going back to my childhood and playing some crap like uh, Mario, Super Mario Sunshine, and your job is to just clean up graffiti. And the only purpose you have is to protect things and clean them up and make them nice again. <gasps> we healed it! Oh, it's no longer dead. Wait, nope, still dead. Fuck. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, something is definitely happening. It's like a hole in it. Parker off the top of that. Oh no, we hurt ourselves. There is full damage. Alright, are you okay? Kind of? Yes. You are okay now. Thankfully. Alright, we did a good job, boys. We took the red out of it.
Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. This game's really pretty. It's really nice. Now we're going upstairs. <laughs> somebody, somebody constructed this. This is something that somebody built. Oh, it's a nest. Oh, look at that little nest. Oh, touch the spiritual beak. What the fuck is that? Oh shit, we're dead. That's it. Credits roll. Oh, come on, I just healed it. Those things look cool as hell. Okay, awesome. So, I am really enjoying this game. This is super cool. But I don't want to get too far into it. We are like 18 minutes into an episode. I'm going to leave it here for now. Let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments. If you've seen anyone else play it before and they're way better than me. <laughs> but this is Pathless. I'm the hunter. We're doing our best. And I think at some point we adopt a pet bird and we can pet it. And it's really cute and really nice. I think I might keep playing this. I dig it. I enjoy it. The first opening, like, 15 minutes had no dialogue, and then they spat some out in a language I don't know what it is. Um, but we could read the subtitles anyway. I've left them on, thankfully. Um, this is super cool. I'm really enjoying this, and I'm looking forward to playing some more of it. Let me know if you guys are also keen on that in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!